Hi there, my name is Alex Grada. I'm the founder of 3D Brothers and Deep Cycle Power. We're a team of engineers from Romania and we started focusing our efforts on projects that are related to energy storage and recycling for the past two years. Earlier this year, we did a funding project on Indiegogo for our first product. That's called the Megacell Charger. Thank you for all the support and for the patience to all the contributors. There have been some challenges to pull this off, but we managed to handle them in the end. The first batch has been shipped already to the backers. While working on the Megacell Charger project, I've connected with some people with similar interests. One of them is Jehu Garcia. In one of the discussions, I've learned the fact that he liked a certain BMS a lot, but it was hard to order due to the slow manufacturing process. I've checked out the data sheet of the BMS, some videos, and indeed it looked like an exciting project. The name of the project is Electrodacus SBMS. I've written Dacian an email to see if we can help him in any way to produce more of this to cover the high demand. He explained to me that the process of building his device the way it design is not something that easy to reproduce in the factory and that it will have to be redesigned for mass manufacturing. He mentioned that it will take too much of his time to do it and he was not interested. I've talked with my colleague Mihai that also designed the Megacell charger circuit if we could take care of this part, obtaining a working prototype of the new design and make sure that everything works fine. He was confident that's doable and got to work. I've asked Dacian if we have his permission to reproduce this device and use the software in exchange for a fee that we pay him per item sold. He pointed to me that the project is open source and that everyone could do it. Still, I consider that would have not been fair. The software took hundreds or even thousands of hours to create and polish to make sure it works 100% of the time and there is significant work on designing the hardware as well. He wasn't very sure that we can even do it, saying that two other companies tried in the past with no success, not having the right engineers to redesign the board and to test it properly. Still, he accepted my proposal and we had his blessing to continue redesigning his product. Within a few weeks, the new design was ready. We got the prototype board and sold all the parts by hand as usual. There were still some issues to fix, but once that was done, we ordered the first small batch of 20 SBMSs at the factory to establish workflow and fine-tune the pricing. Here are some videos of using the redesigned SBMS 40 with lithium cells and with live cells as well.
What's nice about the SBMS40 is that you can connect it directly to solar panels, battery and to a load that's up to 40 amps at 24 volts. You also have the option of connecting relays or big contactors for both the load and the charging ports. For those that are not interested in the onboard charging and discharging MOSFETs, we also made available a version that's the equivalent of the SBMS0. This option comes in at a lower price and you will need to use relays such as SSR or contactors to control your charging and the load. Here's the setup we did using the SBMS0. Both SBMS0 and SBMS40 are fantastic for big setups and the price makes sense. But for smaller arrangements or lead replacement packs, the cost can be a problem. For this reason, we got one step further and designed a headless SBMS. In this version, we separated the display and the programming part from the actual BMS which handle the cells. This way, you can have multiple BMSs that you program before installing, then they work as standalone units. We have this prototype board that we can show right now. The PCBs are in the making, but we tested and everything works great. Now, let's discuss pricing on these units. The original SBMS40 was priced before at 259 Canadian dollars. That's about $189. With the redesign we've done and for the fact that we'll be ordering bigger batches at the factory, we managed to obtain a price of $167 per item for this crowdfunding campaign. After the first batch goes out, it will cost roughly $180. For the new SBMS0, the original price is $120 and the redesigned version for the mass production costs only $97 for the first batch and it will be set at $110 for future batches. The third option is the headless SBMS that has been designed to run without a display and other ICs used while programming and monitoring. This is great to use with your simpler packs. You get three BMSs and one programming board for the price of $147 on this crowdfunding campaign. After that, the price goes to $177 for this pack. You connect the programming board, write the parameters of your pack, the number of cells, cell type, voltage cutoffs, then that gets saved on the PMS flash. So next time it boots, it will load those settings. Pick the solution you find best for your projects or get the pack that includes all of them. You'll find them very handy if you're into building any battery packs. I hope you enjoyed this video so far and find value in the work that we've accomplished. I want to present some other projects that we've found interesting to create and I hope that they are interesting for you to use when building your projects as well. Another device that Jehu suggested was a battery monitor device for his car that has around 90 cells. We thought about an affordable solution and came up with a Bluetooth and N Plus module that displayed the voltage for 8 cells. The beautiful part is that these modules can connect and form a pack in the phone app. The application is at the prototype stage right now and offers only basic functionality, but it works. If there will be more than 200 items sold for this device, we plan on extending the app and offer more functionalities like automation, alarms and the central monitoring software for a Raspberry Pi or a similar device. I think the functionalities are endless for this small Bluetooth device. Here are some examples of how we used it to monitor different types of packs.
The price of these modules is $18 and you can get a great deal if you buy 10 for 150 bucks. You will find the link on the right side of the page for the single unit or the pack of 10 or the mega bundle that will include all the devices. Another project that we thought is helpful when it comes to recovering cells from laptop batteries is a small device that can connect to the battery and display the info from the PMS. You can see information such as cycle count, manufacturer, manufacturing date, get the voltage per cell and there is other info that we display but these are the most important ones. You spend a few seconds scanning the pack and then you can decide if it's worth opening or if it's dead. Some other packs can be recovered if they are low on cycle count and it needs just charging. People from the DIY community have requested such a device. I've received posts and messages pointing to a tool called Pro Laptop Battery Analyzer. It's a great device, especially if you want to recover the laptop batteries, but I consider the price is too much to pay for those who need it for sorting the batteries by cell voltage and cycle count before ripping them apart. We made a version with these minimal features and set the price to just $17 for this crowdfunding. To get a better deal, you can purchase the pack of three devices for the price of $44. Now, let me introduce you to the last but not least device that we wanted to include in this presentation. I discovered that the Pro Laptop Battery Analyzer is made in Romania as well. I got in touch with the creators and paid them a visit in their city called Yash. Nico Shor, who started the project, spent a couple of years improving this device and the software testing with hundreds of laptop batteries and analyzing the right algorithms of the ICs to turn them on and perform smart battery checks and resets. This tool is perfect for the enthusiasts and the pros that want to do more than checking the batteries. The software and the hardware has some great functionalities for charging and measuring the capacity of the laptop battery without disassembling it. I've discussed with Nikoshore about getting an excellent deal for you on this pre-order run. Usually sells the device for $239 directly from stock because this is a pre-order and you agree that it will take a couple of weeks for the items to be produced and shipped. He decided to lower the price to $199. To make the deal even sweeter, he will include for free two new add-ons that he worked on for the past months. The first important feature is the pinout display of over 500 batteries based on battery serial number. This will make connections for diagnosis and repair straightforward. The second feature is the ability to reset the BQ8030 chips with Sanyo firmware. These two options are not available on his website yet and you'll be the first to get it for free. In the future, he plans on charging extra. Having all these features makes the Pro Laptop Battery Analyzer a complete tool. There's no other tool on the market that can do all this in one package. Plus, Nikoshore is working on adding support for even more chips. I've also done a more comprehensive review of setting things up and going through multiple batteries. You can find a more in-depth video by scrolling the page. If you have access to cheap laptop batteries, this is a tool that should sit on your workbench. It's like magnifying glass for the jewelers, so you know if you have a gold nugget or it's just dirt. You can secure your order on the Indiegogo campaign page right now. Select the product or the products you want, enter the payment details and you're all set. The best part of using this platform is that if you change your mind or you have a feeling that something is wrong about this campaign, 
You can request a refund. You will receive the money instantly in your bank account. Please feel assured that we'll do our best to deliver the promises we make. We've worked hard on getting the Megacell charger produced and we want not to complete the circle by offering other devices that will help you thrive in your power storage business that grows every day. That's all I wanted to say in this video. If you have questions, don't hesitate to reach me at alex at deepcyclepower.com. I wish you all the best and thanks for watching this video presentation. Alex.